It is kind of weird, you see? Her mom is dinosaur, and they're like, Oh, mom is just working over time or something, honey. But I promise you, Yoksuko, daddy promise. I love, I love Sensei in the deer suit. <laughs> I love Sensei in the full deer suit. But there they come, of course. Papa! <laughs> they kept the promise, of course. This is so wholesome, guys. She's all grown up. <laughs> this is an amazing epilogue, man. After father's promise, now it's like grown up Miri! And she's all like, I love you, daddy! I love this moment with his sister again, his sensei. But yeah, this anime has been great, guys. One of the best wholesome family anime. It took, it took me by surprise because, I mean, it was also much more realistic than the usual, but it's been a really good anime. Up there with Hinamatsuru, Spice Family, Nono Biaru is alright. I really, I, lo I love the epilogue here. Seeing Miri all grown up, seeing her at different ages, and now they're all like, Leaving somewhere else, he's all happy, so it's a, it's a really nice ending, you know, <laughs> really nice. So, hello and welcome time for Body Dad episode 12, the final episode, I believe, right? Let's turn, I think it's the final episode. Um, yeah, last episode's crazy, right? I mean, this anime is one of the most brutal anime this year. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of laughing at it, right? Because in the beginning, you think it's gonna be like, obviously, you think it's gonna be like Anya, right? You think it's gonna be like Spy Family, and you think it's gonna be, you know, more wholesome. And of course, half the episode of this anime has been wholesome, right? You know, uh, daughter gets friends and it's all cute and kawaii so, right? But then the other half is like, oh, this mom is getting murdered and that thing is happening and that guy, you're, yeah, you're like, what is, is it with the mom, you know, his wife dies in an accident? And you're like, what? The episode where they spent like 10 minutes going to the, the DMV, basically, you're like, what is this? The anime is very real, right? And here we have the final episode. I do think, though, absolutely, that it's gonna end with a happy ending, right? De de definitely. But I guess they have to probably kill Grandpa some more, right? Yeah. Uh, let's start watching it. But it would be a crazy anime. Really, weirdly dark anime. So, three, two, one, and go. And then they're cooking. So it's always wholesome again. Now they're like cooking food, and it's all like, yeah, you know, I love you, Daddy. And you're like, okay. <laughs> and she's. I guess they lied. I mean, they did lie to her and said that mom was just on work or something. Yeah, they lied to her and said that mom was just like, you know, working or something, right? Oh, was she? But it's like the last episode, I don't know what's weird. Were they living in another place? They was way too similar. Yeah, they weird. The funny episode? Maybe they're just dreaming. It feels, it feels like weird because they're, uh, it feels like they're dreaming or something. Like they're delusional. Yeah, this doesn't feel real. Because are they back at the apartment? It always feels like I put on the wrong episode because are they, now they're back at episode. Like they, they left it since mom got killed or so. Yeah. Because now they're back where they usually live. There has to be like a dream or something, right? This makes no sense. <laughs> She's doing like a, some kind of snow pattern. <laughs> Santa! It's cute though. Santa! But I guess they're going crazy because they're just like still living the normal life. Last episode, of course, they left, right? Because mom got murdered. Yeah, and so on. And now they're just like, oh, we're gonna be back just trying to live our life like usual. And yeah, I know look, people said it comes too, they go crazy. They're like, well, we're gonna have a normal life. Yeah, like this. Yeah, because now I feel they went crazy here. Yeah, where's mama? It's like, where's mom? Oh, mama has to work a lot, Miri. They're terrible parents, these people. They're like the worst dads ever. Their mom, her mom is gonna murder her. They're like, oh, you're a mom, you know. She has to work a lot of overtime. He's like, what? Oh, you know your mom. She, she, she's gonna go and, you know, she has to sing and whatever. Yeah, like, Jesus Christ. This girl's gonna have so much issues she grows up, man. Yeah, so they keep lying to her that her mom is dead or whatever. Yeah, they're like, no, no, mom is just uh, working hard, honey. She went to, like, I don't know, America or something. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and she has to... She, She's out, you know, singing and all the kind of something. Yeah, I don't know. They, 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 they went... Oh my god, now she's like, Promise me, daddies! Yeah, Yoksuke, promise! Yeah, oh my god, they're a terrible pair. Oh. They're a terrible pair. This is so weird. She's like, yay, Yoksuke! Yay, promise me, daddy! Yay! 
And they're like, yeah, that, yes, of course, honey, we promised. Mom is coming back and everything. And we, we're not lying to you. It's just, you know. Uh, but seriously, this feels crazy. And I mean, not just on the sense they're lying to the daughter that the mom is killed, right? Not just on the whole lying on that sense. But it feels really weird because, like, didn't this guy just kill their mom, her mom, right? And aren't they in danger? I mean, it, it almost feels dumber that they are taking the daughter back to the daycare when, you know, like the, the Yakuza or whatever is after them, right? Would it, would, because if it's my daughter, right? And I assume, whatever, I, even if I lied about her dead mother, I wouldn't take her back to the daycare because I would assume that the bad guys are going to find her out because she, well, she's a daycare, right? Isn't she like a target of daycare? This it feels really crazy, crazy this whole episode because, like, why, why are these back at. That's what I said earlier, that I felt there was like a dream or something, because like, why are they pretending nothing ever happened, and they're completely back, doing exactly the same. At least I assumed they were gonna move to another country or something, you know, and trying to be a parent, and lying to her. Let's say they moved to, you know, USA, and it's like living in New York, and then lying about mom or something, and then going to a new school or something. That would make at least more sense, you know, like a victim's place system, yeah. Like, put them in the victim protection or something. <laughs> that would make more sense. No, they you... They are literally doing the exact same life with her, because she, but she's gonna get kidnapped, right? But anyway, he gives us some tools to call because I guess they're gonna have to kill Grandpa, or I guess they're gonna go and like try to take care of the family, right? I guess some revenge or something. Yeah, I suppose. It feels like now the anime is going to a to a job or something, right? Um, Santa Claus. Oh, it's like episode one, I guess. Yeah. Back to he. That's how he started that. He was just up at Santa Claus. Of course. But honestly, I, I don't know. Last episode was really good. Like it was really, really good. One of the best episodes this year, I feel. Last episode. But now I feel that I'm a little bit lost. Also, guys, right? I feel I'm a little bit lost here. Because I'm watching this now, and I'm just like. Okay, they're just gonna keep acting, nothing ever happened. Yeah, <laughs> they're just gonna. They, because they're basically, right, if, if you summarize it, what they are doing is basically going back and 100% trying to live like it was episode, like, you know, 10 or 9 or something. Yeah, they're going back in time, like in episode 11 and 10 or whatever never happened. They're like back in episode 9 or something, <laughs> before before the last month happened. They're, they're, they're pretending the two last weeks didn't happen. No one killed her mom, and her mom didn't come back and take her back, right? And this and that, and they didn't know about the evil family and so on. Yeah, they just pretend they they gone completely crazy. Oh, it's just so weird. Um, and like I said again, in both ways, right? Both as a parenting, but also as isn't she, isn't she in risk now? But whatever, I guess they're gonna come up to the mission here. Nothing has happened yet, I guess. Yeah, now they're driving up here to. No, now here we go, right? They're back to doing. Yeah, it's time for the Santa Claus, the return, you know. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna mic a little bit. There we go. Yeah, plus a loader. Yeah, of course, I'm back to doing their job now. But but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I I I, I won't repeat myself on that thing. <laughs> but it does feel like a like a, I'm 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 honestly quite perplexed. That they use rip. Like I said, I, I, I didn't think they were gonna be this extremely re rewriting it, so to speak. Yeah, I think they were gonna like, okay, let's leave leave like her papas, but at least somewhere else, right? But I don't know, yeah, they're gonna meet the boss now. He's standing here surrounded by the guns, and you know. Oh, it's very dark. I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, here we go. It's not really gonna. Yeah, of course. But I mean, this makes the most sense, right? If they take care of the evil I issues to have, because then the daughter will be safe, of course, by you know, basically eliminating her issue. <laughs> yeah, by eliminating people that wanna kill her or, and whatever, right? That's that's gonna be the best strategy. The there is, and obviously get revenge for mom, right? There he is, of course, the guy that killed mom. I can't remember his name now, I don't remember his name or something. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> this plant is stupid though. <laughs> they just drive straight, they just like drive straight over the house, yeah. They don't, maybe not the best strategy, I don't know. They're just, they're just kinda crazy, yeah. They, 
I don't know, they're powered by the fatherly love, right? Yeah, they're powered by love. We're gonna save our daughter! Yeah, they're empowered by this, definitely. Exactly. <laughs> For father's love, man. Yeah, they're double papa love, man. Here we go. Where's the house? Your sniper after, I guess. But yeah, they, it, 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 I have to say it's a little bit, since he lost the one on one duel last episode, I don't really feel these guys should be able to win this, because they weren't doing very well last episode, now they're just like straight up like, oh we can kill them all bro, we can do it, yeah, for our girl, yeah, they're just like going up here and like, just massive gunfight, they're like, oh we can win, we, 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 we're the best man, yeah, like, what, what, what do you base this on? <laughs> last episode you got owned, yeah, I, I don't know. If it's a little silly, maybe it's a dream, maybe the whole episode's a dream, yeah. <laughs> okay, at least they have like canisters or some, um, I don't know what that was, sleeping gas, probably it's a tear gas, yeah, okay, so I I, I guess to, to the credit, they're a little more Batman style now, they're prepared, right? They're coming in with gadgets, they're coming in here with like a bunch of tools and so on, yeah. So I, I guess it's a little set at least that they have like prepared attack, right, yeah. But he's probably back now, of course, right, yeah. Freaking mama killer. See, he's gonna get one again! He's just like, yeah, yeah, like I... This time I will... What? Yeah, his plans is pretty terrible, like he's just gonna get one. Unless he's hospital, he can save him. So he got owned. Now they're back at daycare. Ray Papa! And, uh, to be fair, you know what? It, it makes a little more sense, I, I suppose. Not to be too negative. But it makes a little more sense that they... They... Leave her at daycare because they're out killing them, so... In that sense, leaving her daycare makes more sense because they got up, you know. And yeah, now he comes, of course. That's my husband! Yeah, he will comes, of course. Well, he's a better fighter than he is, so I suppose. He's his best, right? Yeah, I suppose he's the best. So, if someone's gonna get the revenge from mom, it's gonna be him, right? And not actually the one that lost last fight. It, it's definitely better if he wins. If Papa Ray is the one that actually wins. That, that, yeah, it logically makes a lot of sense, right? Again, because he, you know. So. That's better. Yeah, I, I would like it if either both win together or just him. I can, I can, I can live with Papa Ray winning by himself. He is the best, right? So. Yeah, he's the most skilled one, right? Um, yeah, and they're gonna have this like. Keep him in a gunfight, right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess just fighting some oh, random goons now. I guess so, I guess so. <laughs> they have a lot of plot armor, but <laughs> let's be honest. They have a lot of plot armor. Like, it, it pulls him away from the bullets, like in the leak of time, yeah. They're like surrounded by guns with machine guns, and they all miss him, even just lying on the ground, like not moving. Like, they, they have a lot of plot armor. They're, um, to be fair, man, they have a lot of plot armor. Like, pulls away from that, yeah. Okay, maybe he will still get the... No, wow, well, he disarmed him with the bullets. Man, he's way better than them. Yeah, he like he disarmed his machine gun by shooting at it. He's like a little funny character, he's just walking like very slowly after him. He feels like a Resident Evil bad guy, yeah, like let's call him again, uh, Nemstemis, yeah, or... Not Nemstemis, no, more Mr. X, I mean, yeah, more than yeah, the one thing, yeah. I guess. Or actually also Nemstemis, but more so the third before that. It's very slowly walks after him in a suit, man. Yeah, it's like... Oh yeah, but he's like, you killed uh, my daughter's mom. It's like killing my wife, kind of. So yeah, like... See, it's powered by revenge, right? It's powered by a father's love, right? Yeah. I'm gonna piss him off here. Maybe Ray appears a pilot, though. I don't know, Ray's doing something, I guess. Yeah, like it's... He lost his gun though, so... Okay. Oh, he got like, uh, yeah, um, propane gas. Oh, there you go, Papa Ray. I told you guys, holy call, man. Of course, Papa Ray is, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was cute. He, <laughs> he like, break, break, dance, is that up? Or something. I don't know, he kicked him and he got a spin, he, he like, windmilled or something. Yeah, he kind of windmill himself up from the ground, and then he goes back and stabs him, and man, yeah. 
Ja, oh, de läser en knife. Ja, oh, yeah, det var blod. Det var blod. Det de läser en knife, I guess. Men det är väl det är väl bara plott bara bra honestly. The fine team kick him in last with a knife. I mean it's very you know the bad guy falls on his own blade yeah. Yeah. Um but he put up a yeah, kitchen propane gas there, right? Typical like uh, you know gas driven kitchen, right? Um that probably would explode though, maybe if he leaks out of it. He's still alive though. Man, this is freaking brutal, but what is the scene? I wasn't even gonna show it, but that scene was brutal because he was still breathing and the tomato juice was like bubbling up of his neck. Man, this anime is so crazy dark sometimes. I, I wasn't even show that scene on, you know, for family friendly content, yeah. I'm not even gonna show that scene, guys. That was ridiculous. It was like bubbling out of his neck. What? That was so, I mean, honestly, that was like unnecessarily brutal, right? And then he, of course, blew him up anyway, but I mean, unnecessarily brutal. Like, that, that was just weird. I didn't have to add his, like, blood bubbling. Yeah, that was, like, very str Honestly. <laughs> it sounds like I was gonna... He's like, yeah, a papa, you know, yokes, yeah. A father's promise, man. But honestly, that felt unnecessary brutal. I was laughing at it, like... That was, like, a horror movie thing. Yeah, his, his blood is, like, bubbling up or something. Like, why? He could have could said him die. It, it was unnecessary brutal. I mean, Jesus Christ. But okay, it's gonna fight his father, right? Of course. It's gonna end it all right by probably having maybe having to kill the grandpa and even grandpa, right? And I guess waiting outside. But man, his father lost a lot of money on this, yeah, he lost his whole empire. Like if he father they just ignored his son, right? They, this would be over for him. Like, you know, he, he, he would have his um his men alive is all right. Now it's that by fighting his own son, he's like, oh, I lost like 50 men or something. So even if he wins now in this like duel they have here, he lost all of his guys, right? He lost his whole, uh, his crew, right? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's just, yeah, like the, he definitely plays Carl Rettler. Also Anya now is pissed off, yeah, but I'm lifted over. Anya, you, you get your smile, Anya. 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 Yes, uh, slightly like that. Here we go. Gotta have my three daughters here, right? Yeah, I said earlier, but I need to buy an answer figure. Then I have my quadruple daughters. Then I have the horsemen of cute daughters. Maybe a Rengi figure. Uh, but I feel Ansu is better daughter, yeah. Rengi is just uh, annoying. <laughs> Ansu from uh, Hinamatsuru, man. She's a one adorable little daughter, yeah. But I love Hinamatsuru, my god, that is great too. This is as a kid scene then. Yeah. He's like, you can't understand, father. Because you're a terrible dad. Yeah, you can't understand what I feel because I actually like my daughter. Yeah. I guess that's his. I got good points, Papa Ray. He's like, I actually love my daughter. You, you hate your son. So you can't understand me, right? Yeah, you can't understand the feeling I have, right? Because you never liked your own child, which is me. <laughs> which is me. Pretty sad, though, for Papa Ray. He's just like. The reason I'm doing it because of family, you know, Kasuko, you can't understand that because you were one terrible father, so yeah, you can't understand this thing. Um, pretty straight up there, yeah, like you can't understand uh, what it means to have a family, right, you know. Yeah, I believe in my family, you know, Kasuko, yeah. Which of course is what she got, you know, on the ladder. That was what I think, yeah, you know, she went and got the Kasuko on the, on the, on the race, right, you know, or whatever it's called, yeah, the daycare thing. And, uh, of course, she's just like, father. Whoa, that's one way to show your resolve, I guess. No, we're equal, dad. But I guess his point is also, I can't kill you, because he gave him, like, a speech about fatherhood, right? He gave him a speech about being a family member. So, it, I guess his reason is, I can't also kill you, because he is, yeah... You know, it makes sense, it's like, sorry dad, but I can't kill you because I, I, I'm i giving you this, like, emotional speech string about being a good dad, right? So if I hate you, I can't kill you because you're my dad, right? So, they kind of made sense to you that he was like, no, I can't, uh... Then his father is probably gonna be like, no, I can't do it either or something. He, 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 his father seemingly didn't have any bullets, actually, in the gun, because he... There was a typical click sound there that he... Thought of bullets. So maybe his father actually couldn't kill us either. I mean, I would hope that his father actually did love him in the deep, you know, in his own evil ways, right? It did look like he didn't actually have any bullets in the gun in the last second there. But it was a little unfirm, I guess, but... 
Så det är en... <laughs> But the whole gang is like that now. <laughs> All his men are... He like... Yeah, he went, they went to the bottom of them, right? Defeated all of his guys. And then like... Well, some of them were still in the second half of that area. But most of them, you know, were defeated. And then he walks into him and he's like, Okay, we, we're over dead. And then he just leaves. Oh, and all the girls... Oh, yeah, girls, kids, I mean. Also the boys, but most of the girls. <laughs> the Santa... Are they gonna make it in time? <laughs> I gotta love Sensei! Oh, she's adorable, I love Sensei, man! She's in a full reindeer suit. Man, Sensei is a good character, yeah. The, the wholesome, the wholesome uh, Sensei, man. The daycare mama, she, yeah, she's one uh, wholesome lady, man. Sitting there in a <laughs> full daycare, full deer suit, man. I want her to be my daycare mama, come on. She's a great daycare mama. And now, of course, Mira is all like, where's my papas? Then there's the Gyro mommy. Yeah, the best mom is back. Oh, damn, it's back. There's a the Gyro mommy. The only woman, woman is blonde. It's her son, of course, is the, you know, the delinquent son, yeah. I, I mean, I love it. The, there they are, of course. Dressed up as... <laughs> Papa! <laughs> Yoksuka! Yeah. Oh my god, this, this smile. That was a good smile, man. Man, they come out and are bleeding out of... Oh my god, this anime is so weird. They're coming up to dress up as Santa Claus and there's like blood <laughs> under the... It's obviously hiding their wounds, right? In the Santa Claus. And they're like, yeah, honey, we're, we're here. We made it. And it's like... Yeah, it's gonna hug them, right? It's gonna be like, ah, my bones are breaking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love you too, honey. Daddy is not in here. Yeah, it's like... We're normal parents. Yeah, it's like... They're, of course, uh, massively injured. <sighs> yeah, they're, of course, barely alive. But you see, Sensei is wholesome. I love Sensei, man. She comes in in her full <laughs> reindeer suit. Um, yeah, she's got a wholesome, man. Got a wholesome teacher, man. Yeah. Let's take a family photo. Of course. That would be nice, man. I have a family. Daughter daddies. Is that how it ends? Yeah, it says like daughter daddies. It's daddies. Daughter daddies. Daughter daddies. That's how, that's how they, yeah. But now they're living somewhere else, right? Like Hawaii or something. Just like Hawaii. Oh, is she an adult now? Or at least she's older. Yeah. But now she's not, her mom is dead, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm so sure level. It's a weird fun episode. Now she's like, see you, mommy. Man, she probably has a lot of mental issues, but I guess the anime is playing it off as she's just a, you know, a happy, like, young adult now, I guess. Because now she's older, right, so... Now she's like, a, maybe... A, he goes, yeah, yeah, now she's like older. Yeah, exactly, now she's like 18 or something, yeah, or like, whatever. Yeah, Dad! Look at me, I'm so hot! Yeah, like, now she's all... Almost she turned into this, like, annoying kid that's all like, Yeah! I'm so hot! Look at me, Daddy! This scared! <laughs> of course she turned into that kind of girl, of course. With her weird parents and her, you know, yeah, of course she's like, Ah, oh, look at me! Yeah, she's like a super energic, um... Of course she is. Yeah, and she... The papa is crying, You're so hot! You're so cute, honey bun! Yeah! You're an adult now or something, or you know, whatever, like 18 or whatever, yeah, around the age, yeah, 16 or something. And they're running like a cough, coffee or something, or a restaurant or something. Papa Ray looks like a good chef though. <laughs> he reminds me of Persona 5, you know, yeah, they have that, you know, the coffee place, Persona 5, same hair and so on, yeah. I mean, you're not a Persona 5, man. <laughs> she looks exactly like she was a kid though, yeah, yeah. But I guess she's like, what, 18, 16 now, or I don't know, like... She probably said, that, oh, this is the first day of senior high school or whatever, yeah. Or college, something. We want a selfie. But it's good, though, they're gonna epilogue her she's all, when she's grown up, though. We need to have, like, a selfie when she's an adult, right? <laughs> yeah, it's selfie stick. Shut up, Dad! Stand next to me! <laughs> Social media, Daddy! Press the like button, yeah! I like to turn into this, like, annoying teenager brat kid, yeah. The golden child, guys, she's a golden child. Yeah, of course we're gonna have an image where she's like, adult, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course. I was waiting for that image to be like, yeah, we need to make a selfie, daddy. Yeah, of course she's gonna be like, come on, daddies. Yeah, she needs to make a selfie with, you know. But the like they call it, yeah, now it's like she's older. Yeah, nice. Now she's like, she's, uh, yeah, she's older and so on. 
Uh, och in Death Rex is younger in, in middle year, that's like 12 maybe, right? Death Rex is like 12, Nesk Kors Anker, oh, okay, I got big Oppai hug. Oh yeah, Sis is back? That's nice though. I wonder about, yeah, you know, her, his dead wife's sister, right? Yeah, she's back there with a nice image. You know, maybe she's... <laughs> but it's a cute ending though, we see her in different age. Yeah, we see me when she's like 12 and 10 and so on, right? Uh, good ending, kind of what I expected, right? A yeah, wholesome ending. But I do love it that they actually added an epilogue ending, but some animes they don't age so right. He wish to see her as like, you know, yeah, 10 plus year older, right? In different ages and so on. <laughs> then of course it's back to the, yeah, the, <laughs> the, the Santa Claus ending. No, but that, that was a good ending. I mean, in the sense that, you know, this is kind of what I expect on it, right? You know, I, yeah, I expect this, this like straight up, you know, like here, here's the... Yeah, like, you know, like the, the Christmas happy ending, the smile, uh, love the image there, of course, when she is, uh, uh. Let's review it. I mean, I did really like this anime, right? More, I don't know if it's more than I thought I was like it, but I mean, I love this animation. You know, I'm a big fan of Spy Family, right? But I have a link below for that, right? Spy Family, episode one, episode one review. I like, like Spy Family, right? I mentioned earlier, I'm a huge fan of Hinamatsuru. Uh, that aired many years ago, uh, which probably people really overlooked, but it's a very good anime, right? With Ansu being an amazing daughter. And Hina being a terrible daughter. <laughs> but in that anime, it's like a yoke, right? So in that anime, he has his, you know, Hina is his daughter, right? Like basically, right? Same thing, Yakuza guy gets a daughter. Very, very similar in the premise, right? A criminal guy gets a daughter. Uh, but she's terrible, yeah. She's a super annoying kid. And then there's another girl that he also kind of adopts, right? Which is, uh, and then she lives with some, she lives with an old couple instead. But he kind of adopts her a little bit, so she kind of did as well. And that's Ansu. Ansu is that amazing, super nice <laughs> girl, and she's all sad and so on. And then he, and then he wants to have you know, removed and have Ansu a few episodes, you know. He's like, can I maybe swap them? <laughs> can I maybe we do a swap here with the old couple? I want your daughter instead. Uh, but anyway, so obviously I've seen that animation of all the genre, as right? we call it, like you know, wholesome family animes, and especially kind of buddy daddies. Similarities, right? With like a, maybe a weird, like a Yakuza guy or something like that, right? Uh, but it was a much darker anime, right? As I keep saying, right? Than you expected. Absolutely. And this last episode, though, I mostly laughed at it, but I did feel, unfortunately, I will be honest here, right? I liked it. I mean, I love this ending here, right? With them, her being grown up, or you know, he's like 18, 17, whatever, right there. Young adult kind of, you know, middle someone right? Love that stuff, right? And seeing her and love the epilogue. We kind of saw all the different, uh, you know, like her as 12, her as 13, whatever, right? Her as uh, 10 with her friends, so on. Yeah, so I love that in the epilogue. Her hugging the sensei's big titties. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Just motorboating her. That was weird. But I get my point. That was a really nice epilogue. So I love that. But I do think it's fair to say, right? We we talking about in the last episode, we're talking about the the comments in the last, just leave a comment below, I was talking about in the comment section uh, last week on my channel that, man, she's gonna have a lot of issues. This poor daughter, growing up, right, she's gonna have a lot of issues, but she actually didn't really have that, yeah, I think it's a little less sad because this anime, right, has been much darker, right, I keep saying it, but I mean, I mean it's been quite a realistic take on this show, right, and of course it is unrealistic how they survive or what, but you know, generally speaking, this anime has been much more realistic, right? Most of the Spice families. And yet, they kind of just completely ignore all the issues in that. Yeah. So, I'm a little disappointed, honestly. I did like the anime overall, but I do wish that the ending here, right? And especially maybe the last five minutes, could maybe develop a little bit on her mental issues of having her daddies that she maybe figured out isn't her real father. I mean, none of them is actually her real dad, right? I mean, she must need one of them with a gay, gay dad. But none of them is a real dad. And that her mom was murdered next to her. And that they lied to her for like years or whatever. All of that is just completely ignored. Yeah, and I honestly, it does surprise me a bit. It really does because, like I kept saying, right? This anime has been very real and quite dark, uh, you know, across the episode. So I did think they actually were going to deal with it a little bit. We had, of course, her saying, you know, see you, mommy, I love you, and like a photo with her and mommy, right? When she's a kid. Of course, we had that, but but still, it feels like I wouldn't mind if they actually went into a little bit of her, maybe like reflecting more, right? Maybe the, la the epilogue could have maybe started with her, you know, as a young adult, thinking about how her dad lied to her or whatever, right? Maybe go to therapy, <laughs> you know what I mean? Go to therapy or something, but still, of course, being a, a happy, you know, happy lady anyway, but like, I don't know why, but I hope they actually we're gonna deal with this aftermath of 
lying to her about her dead mom and so on to some extent, but they didn't. They just completely ignored it. <laughs> they just completely ignored it. It's definitely, honestly, more happy ending ishy that I was guessing in this, in this anime to be so dark, right? Uh, and overall, the fight, of course, went too easy for them. But I mean, it's just anime, right? Yeah, they obviously suddenly had way higher plot armor. Like, he lost the fight last episode, they got owned this episode, and suddenly they're, like, way better at doing spy stuff than they were earlier, right? They turned into, like, Lloyd and Yori, you know what I mean? Um, that also that issues anime. The anime strength has been this moralistic, right? But at the same time, you watch all the, like, Spy's family with Anya's parents, right? And with Anya's parents, if Mama Yor goes in and, like, kills 50 people, you're like, yeah, it's Yor. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a little more... In a weird way, it's more believable because Yor is presented as a superhuman, right? All the way through the anime. But these two guys are basically kind of like, they're good assassins, but they aren't very good. They aren't like superhumans. So it, it makes a little bit very plot armor heavy last five minutes there. I mean, they kind of own them without doing much. Um, but I did like the speech though to his father. That was a good, yeah, that's a good speech to his father. He told him that he's like, you're wrong. Uh, I can't kill you because I actually, you know, uh, being a good dad myself, I love my daughter, you can't understand it, you're a bit of a terrible father, you can't relate to what I feel about my daughter, etc. That was a good speech, and then generally he was like, I won't kill you, dad, because you're still my parent, and I believe in family, so I want to feed you, right? So, that, that was good, that was a good emotional speech there. But I honestly wish that the action sequence was shorter, honestly, that he go to his father immediately and talk to him. Uh, I mean, obviously they had to kill the guy to kill Mama, of course, but but I but I feel that they could have maybe just done that. I don't I don't know because it wasn't so important seeing them win. Yeah, I wasn't so interested in seeing them suddenly being amazing at the job. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, man, guys, hope you guys like the review, reaction to the anime. This is the last, and now we have to talk about some more. But basically, this is the last anime. Right tomorrow we have course new anime is coming, and one anime I will definitely check out tomorrow. Is uh, Yamada level 999, right? It's like a rom com with some gamer uh, losing a girlfriend and so on. That to me is the best new rom com, right? Somewhat similar to this anime, like a little wholesome romantic dating anime. Um, it's also another uh, romantic anime tomorrow that I might check out, episode one at least. Probably won't f scrub it. I, I don't know. We will see, of course, always right. New anime is coming when I check out review, most good, right? But I think that uh, 999 Yamada tomorrow, yeah, that, that, that looks like the best Saturday anime, to, uh, probably. Uh, and then, of course, next week we have like Demon Slayer, Megumin, etc. So that's be, be exciting. So I will see you guys and have a great day.